The billionaire businessman actively courted Catholic voters during the campaign. In a letter to CatholicVote.org, Trump promised to protect the rights of Catholics to live their faith, to serve their communities, and to act on their beliefs without fear. Joining us now to check and see if the president-elect is fulfilling that promise is Brian Birch, president of CatholicVote.org. Brian, that was a big promise to Catholic voters. How is the president-elect doing so far in living up to that promise? Well, I think in these first few weeks, there's only uh, or there's uh, the biggest priority is going to be personnel and on the issues that involve religious liberty, the rights of conscience, and the commitments that, that Donald Trump made to us, uh, we are looking at the personnel that he is putting in key positions, including the Department of HHS and other places. And so far, we would give him a, a grade A. He's put some fantastic people in places uh, of authority that will be part of, of helping enact the agenda that, that, uh, that we hope to see. Have you been in contact with anyone on the Trump transition team? And if so, what have you discussed? We've been in contact with, with certain people, uh, not the highest levels, because I think they're trying to fill all sorts of positions, some of which don't involve a lot of the issues we are working on. We're also in contact with legislators on the Hill that are helping map the strategy for the legislative agenda once he does take office in January. So what are the major Catholic issues you'll be monitoring as Trump takes office? Well, we call them the big three. The first big three issues over the first 100 days that we expect action to happen are uh, addressing the repeal and replacement of Obamacare, the nomination of a justice to replace uh, the late Justice Scalia, and the question of federal funding for, for Planned Parenthood. All three of those issues we expect action on in the first 100 days, and those are our priorities right now. Brian, it's one thing to elect a president who is going to advocate for a number of those issues. It's another thing to actually make sure that they're being held accountable. What is Catholic Vote going to do to advocate for those key issues? I think the main thing we are doing and the main thing I would tell Catholics is to stay focused, not get distracted. You know, we have a number of things circling, whether it's uh, accusations of racism or recounts or now the Russians. And those are, in our opinion, mere distractions in order to try to slow down the momentum and to put throw up obstacles to the agenda. Stay focused on the issues. Stay focused on the people that will be responsible for bringing about these changes and to organize ourselves in a way to apply the pressure that's going to be needed to win these fights. Are you confident a lot of will get done in the first 100 days? Very confident. We're seeing a lot of good signs. I think the stars are aligned, the prayers are being answered, and I think we need to keep praying, keep working hard, and stay focused. Very good. Well, I know we'll be in touch within the next year. It's a big 2017. Brian Birch, president of CatholicVote.org. Thanks so much for talking with us. Thank you.